Questions for Coach? Tim? You, know, you guys have been a lot better recently closing out games. What do you think the difference was today? Uh, we didn't guard as well, obviously, in the second half. Uh, felt we defended well in the first half, but couldn't score. Um, you know, looked a little sloppy there execution-wise in the first half. Second half, you know, giving up a 36-point quarter, uh, third quarter. We didn't defend like we had been. Um, obviously scored enough to win. Um, and then execution-wise, I think their physicality kind of threw us off our stuff uh, on both ends a little bit. Um, 18 off, 18 offensive rebounds, 17 second chance points is the area of emphasis that they heard us last time. But um, like I said, I don't think we played as well as we could have through their physicality. Were you, uh, were you satisfied with the look you got at the end? Decent. We had some options there. If they switched to get a handoff, we wanted to get downhill a little bit there. But I mean, you got a clean look, um, you know, miss some easy ones tonight and settle at times. I think we all did and didn't really play through the physicality or when we did play in the crowd, could have got off it a little bit, but uh, not not the worst look, obviously, but we would like to get them downhill. Thanks. A lot of times when people say got a clean look at the end of a game, it's usually kind of a rush look. That one, you know, you pulled up pretty quick. It was a, it was a tough pull up. So. At that point of the game, how much do you want to emphasize these guys to like really work the clock to try to find a really like rhythm clean look as opposed to just find that clean look when you get it? No, I mean, if with 5.9 left, you want to get a shot off. You know, we had, like I said, two options of ha handoff, fake handoff, and you could go. And you want to get looks early enough to have a chance to get on the offensive glass so you don't really want to hold it. And I think, you know, pull up was a, a move that he does all the time, hesitation into it. So I don't feel it was rushed and gave us a chance to get on the glass, get a tip in if he missed it. How do you kind of, uh, it's kind of a lousy end to a, a good run. Yeah. How do you kind of get the guys not to take this and carry with them into the break after? Yeah, you know? this uh, bittersweet going to leave a sour taste for sure. But, um, you know, kind of look back and reflect on the things we did well over the streak. Didn't, didn't do it tonight defensively and even offensively. Like I said, it wasn't as crisp as we've been. Um, but. Uh, the effort was there overall. I said, like I said, I think their physicality bothered us. But what I did tell them was congrats on what we had done. Obviously, it'd be nice to finish it off the right way, but uh, take a rest on your bodies and minds and uh, think about what we have coming forward. So we, that, that nine is done. It would have been nice to finish it off the right way, but uh, we still got big things coming up. Up eight with four minutes left. What, I mean, they hit some, you know, the, the bay three and then the uh, Grant one that bounces in the rim, on the rim and, and I mean, did they just hit some tough shots or was it offensively? Did you not like what you guys were doing? They did hit some tough, obviously the Bay one that, with their shooters. I think they just had two clean looks. That's not a great one for them that went in, but we want to make these guys dribble the ball, especially Bay is a catch and shoot guy. And even Grant on that one, you got to, you know, take away that space and make them earn it there. But they had some good bounces and made some tough shots. And then uh, we missed some solid looks at the basket. And so, um, like I said, I, I felt we could have been better defensively, obviously, in that second half. And then even with that being said, when we did get stops, they hurt us on the glass, got a late tip in there. Um, so could have been better all the way around. And it's a KYP thing. Knowing these guys are catch and shoot guys, you got to make them put it on the ground. Quick Zoom call from uh, John Corrales. He made the, a lot of the things that you had been doing well over the streak just kind of kind of went away to some degree, like you've been saying. Is there any sort of like uh, you know a lesson learned that you, you know you know you you just said that you want these guys to clear their minds, but is there like a lesson learned here that these guys should carry with them that you have to play a certain way and and, and you now have seen nine straight wins when you do something one way and now this disappointing loss when you do it a different way. Yeah, I mean guard at a high level. Uh, you know you got Marcus and Rob out to elite defenders, but we have you know, have enough other quality guys coming in. And so that's not an excuse. We still have to guard the way we have been. We did it last night without some guys. And so defensively got to be better. You know, we have been better. And then offensively at, at times, it felt like we tried to play one-on-one -on -one through their physicality. Um, they are a team that, like I said, gets a lot of deflections and steals, but they foul a lot. And so uh, instead of trying to beat the matchup one-on-one, -on -one, you draw that crowd, do what we've been doing the whole time, getting wide open looks. And so Disappointed when you shoot 54%, you know, 29 assists and 40% from three. It feels like a wasted effort. Um, 
when you come alive in the second half and don't guard the way we could have, but at the same time in the first half, our offense wasn't as crisp as it could have been for sure. Wrap it up right there. Thank you, Coach. Thank you.